Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Derber with my wife, Alberta Derber, and we're just delighted to be able to share with you in the truths of God's Word once again. Luke 137 says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. Nothing. Nothing. It makes no difference what it is. Mm -hmm. And we are delighted that you have tuned in today. Uh, give, us, give us this half hour. I believe it will enrich your life. We're teaching out of our devotional that we wrote years ago mm -hmm. called Awake to Righteousness. It, 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 the subject of new creation realities is something that I believe in these last days is going to be uh, taught more and more uh, because people, as a believer, you need to know who you are more than just oh. saying, I'm a Christian, having a Christian oh, t-shirt on and cross hanging around your neck. And so... Uh, at the bottom of the screen, there's our prayer line uh, for you, available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You will get a hold of somebody, not voicemail. If by some chance you get voicemails because all the lines are praying for people right at the same time, and they will get, you'll be the next call just as soon as they hang up. And, uh, you know, I tr we train these people. They're, they're, they're our staff. They're spirit-filled, faith-filled people. They know how to pray. They know how to believe God for miracles. They've experienced them in their own lives. And so, uh, or if you, you know, that that helpline is right there on the screen. Or if you want to send in a prayer request uh, through our email, help, H-E-L-P, at faithvictorychurch.us. And also, we want to know where you're watching this from. You know, people, we just got a, a thing the other day from Togo, Africa. Yeah, that was right. right? Uh, you know, and it just, that, that just fires me up uh, to hear these kinds of things, knowing that uh, people are out there wanting answers, and God's Word is the answer. Al Eric and I were driving back from Springdale, Arkansas. We'd been out there preaching together, and the Word of the Lord came to me. And I, and, and I, I told Eric, I said, the Word of the Lord just came to me. And the word was, faith is a solution for every problem. Faith. Well, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. It is the solution, not for most of the problems, for every problem that anybody yes. would ever yes. encounter. Sickness, Absolutely. financial, family, marriage, business, raising children, whatever. what You can't name a subject that faith, no. God's Word, the is. solution is right in here. Mildew. <laughs> Mildew. Yeah, this is another time. But it's Tremendous Tuesday. How it are you doing today? Tremendous. Tremendous? Tremendous. All right. You ready to get in this today? I am ready. Okay. 29. Uh, okay. Our scripture verse today is taken from Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Hmm. Pride and righteousness don't mix. Must well, stop right there. Whoops. Stop right there. Yeah, we're not going to get very far today. Pride is what I've done for myself. Self-righteous. <laughs> righteousness is what God has done. Yeah. Pride, it, 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 it all comes from the devil. You're probably going to say everything you say. Righteous, well, probably, but we'll <laughs> say it again. Righteousness comes from Jesus. Pride, 100% of pride, comes from the devil. I'm talking about pride, you know, walking around like you all that. You all that. Right? There, you know, I'm, I'm proud of our kids in the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Well pleased. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever. That. But the, you know, you understand what I'm saying? That's a, that's a different kind of yeah. uh, pride. Right? I like that. Well pleased, right? Yeah, I. I, I but anyways, that. pride and righteousness they don't mix. They don't mix. Pride gets over into uh, uh, messing with uh, holiness. Yeah. Like we were talking yeah. about yesterday. Yeah. Well, anyways, go ahead. <clears throat> when born-again believers are in pride, they're lifting themselves up instead of being lifted up by Father God. 
Self-reliance is dangerous in the kingdom of God if it leads to self-promotion. Mm -hmm. When we toot our own horns for recognition, we have abandoned our dependence on God. The just live by faith. The just, the ones declared right by God, live by faith. We don't need to lift ourselves up. Father God will do that in due season. Stop, stop right there a moment. Stop right there a moment. I've had different ministers, more than one, tell me, Philip, what you preach and what you teach, it's got to go past your church. It's, it's, it's got to get out there. I said, well, when God wants it out there, he'll get it out there, right? And he said, no, 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 no. Uh, one of them said, uh, you got to get out there and rub elbows with people. And, you know, uh, uh, you got to you gotta mingle and, 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 and uh, you know, just make yourself known among people. Another guy told me, he said, you need to take up golf. <laughs> and get out golfing, and, and and I'm like, I don't like golf. Well, and I told, what and does I told, that have to do with anything? It, to rub elbows. A lot of in the upper class arena, business deals, and all this stuff happen on the golf, on course. The golf course, right? A lot of sin happens on the golf you know, course. <laughs> but I mean, there's, there's, you know, I got a good friend that is an avid yeah. golfer. You know, he just likes likes to golf. But uh, he's a champion, wasn't he? The uh, point I was bringing out, uh, I told that one preacher, I said, I am rubbing elbows. He said, Who with? I said, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Oh, I know, I know, but you gotta get out there, right? Now watch this. You don't know anything. Watch this. I'm out there. Yeah, you are. He has contacted me before and said, hey, can you put a word in for me? Right? In other words, uh, he's, wanting to, he's wanting to minister uh, where I've been ministering and so on and so forth. But see, I'm not going to... I understand about knock and it should be open. Like when God told us to take the RVN band into the prisons, I didn't do that. So we started knocking and doors started opening. I get that. I understand, but I had a word from God. I understand, uh, you know, uh, a reference. You know, we were we were referred uh, to Puerto Rico, right, and all that. I get that, but it's still it's God that orchestrates things. God's that God that divinely can. I ain't got time to waste. I am one busy fella, and I don't have time to be. In, in some place where I ain't supposed to be uh, preaching because I'm trying to make myself a name. That ain't happening. Self-promotion, see? So that's what it says there. In, in uh, those that toot their own horns for recognition have abandoned their dependence on God, right? The just, the ones declared <laughs> right by that. God, they live by <laughs> faith. This, this is profound. We don't need to lift up ourselves. Father God will do that in due season. Humble yourself Absolutely. under the mighty hand of God, and he, he will, will exalt, exalt you. you. You know how many uh, pastor conferences they have that teach you how to grow your church, and pastors flock to that. But then you have a believer's convention, a faith rally, where that, see, well, the same thing with a believer. A believer will go to all these, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to show you how to get your business started. We're going to show you how uh, to get this right, how that right. And they'll go to that, but yet, whoa, 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 time out. Find out who you are in Christ Jesus, release your faith, and watch God lift you up. Anyways, I'm... Yeah, you just preached the whole thing and you read it too. I'm going to give you the whole half hour. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it for a moment. Can we physically reach down and grab our feet and lift ourselves up off the ground? No, that is physically impossible. Apply that analogy to spiritual things. It's just as impossible. 
Don't try to promote yourself in God's kingdom. It's very ugly when we do that because pride is involved. That is what Satan pride himself itself tried to do by attempting to lift its throne above the stars of God. It didn't work. It got cast down. Like notice, notice, I, notice I, when, when I'm writing yeah. this, I use the devil yeah. as an it. Yeah. He ain't a him. A him would put him in the, in, in, yeah. uh, the species of man. Yeah. So I'm just clarifying that for the listeners. Father God will lift you up by your faith and right standing alone. You don't have to help him out. He knows what he's doing. He has been at it much longer than you and I. Years ago, Alberta and I, this is Pastor Philip writing this one, Alberta and I made up our minds that if our faith couldn't get it or take us there, we wouldn't have it or go there. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Then Father God revealed his righteousness or right standing to us and that revelation was acceleration to our faith. He has lifted us up time and time again. God knows how to lift you up. So relax, awake to righteousness, and live by faith. You know, hon, uh, while you were reading that last part there, I was just flashing on who God has brought into our lives over the years effortlessly. On our, on our. Right, we've done nothing to. We didn't, we didn't write a letter to anybody. Uh, you know, this one or that one, no. saying, "Hey, we'd like to meet you sometime." It's really wild. Yeah, it's. I, I mean, the that. list is long, and just to meet even one of those people. Most Christians don't in their whole lifetime. Yeah, right, and and uh, some don't even know who they are. But we didn't try. No. To weasel our way in. Not that meeting somebody like that is the ultimate in your life, you know, but uh, there it were was pretty high moments. Oh yeah, it it uh, just shows you how God can orchestrate things if you turn it over to Him. If you know the Scripture is, "Behold, His soul which is lifted up is not upright okay. in Him." But the just, the declared righteous ones Never shall live by faith. By his faith. Right? So God has no problem in us being lifted up. No. He just wants to do it. That's it. He and, knows how to do it grand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't want to get, you don't want to try to lift yourself up because if, if you lift yourself up and you get yourself at a, at a plateau that God didn't put you, guess who's got to keep you there? Yourself. If you if you lifted yourself up, then then you got to keep yourself. There. Usually, the enemy is the one that's lifting you up in that situ in those situations. No, well, sure. Yeah, it's not yourself. He'll keep you up. There. Well, he'll tempt you he'll, to do it. He'll, yeah, and he'll keep you up there. Yeah. Until he's finished with you. And yeah. And it's a sad, hard land. Oh, he kick you to the curb yeah. after after it's done. <clears throat> but the just me. shall live by faith. Now listen, God can raise you up overnight. Overnight. God can. And, uh, but, but, but it seemed like a long over, night. It's not, before. usually not an overnight process, 32 years. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, look, look, look at what we do now. And this thing hasn't even no. opened up. Uh, it's about to though. Yeah. Any and, moment. And if you're a partner with, with us, you better hang on. You better hold on tight because this this thing's gonna take off like a rocket. And when it does, because momentum, mm -hmm. Robert Tilton was telling me about momentum. He said, Philip is powerful. And when momentum starts the multiplication of God begins to happen, that seed begins to multiply, wow. the word, the wow. finances, wow. everything. When it begins to multiply, there's a momentum that comes with it. You know, catch the wave, <laughs> ride that, ride that thing. But what keeps the just living by faith is they're content. 
with who they are in Christ Jesus. Oh, yeah. Pride is trying to create an image yeah. to get recognition. See, mm -hmm. I want recognition from God. From God, that's it. I want God to, you know, I just make <clears throat> something up me. and just say, Abraham, <clears throat> Moses, Daniel, Samson, come here. Look at Philip down there. Look at Alberta down there. Look at Eric down there. Look what they're doing. I mean, they could try to do this and try to do it. They ain't. They're just sitting there. And here's the thing. You, you remember you remember the, the little uh, fairy tale about the turtle and the rabbit racing? Remember that? Yeah. And, you know, it's no contest, that rabbit and rabbit sitting there just telling that turtle, you know, you know, and what happened? The rabbit takes off, you know, and, you know, you know, a turtle real slow, but <laughs> that turtle number's stopping. And that rabbit's like, oh, man, gets off to the side, falls asleep, mm -hmm. right? You know the story. The turtle wins. See, just because people around you, it looks like their their business took off. Their, uh, this yes, happened too. and that happened. And, and well, you, you see, and here's another thing about debt. Debt can make it look like God's hand is blessing something in an accelerated fashion when when uh, all of a sudden, you know, I, once that thing is built or acquired, now every month they're being choked and what they thought that would produce in their life is really becoming a weight. It's like, uh, you know, just trying to carry around you know, back in the day when I grew up, we had ankle weights. And and you'd strap those ankle weights to your... They still have them. Do they? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, they came out when I was a kid, and you'd strap those ankle weights to your feet, and you'd wear them to school all all day. And then, then then when you went to basketball practice, you thought you could run faster and jump higher and all that stuff. It's goofy. you got to get me. No, that's, that's a, that was the whole run concept. Run faster with the weights on you. Yeah. You were training to do that, but... Yeah, but yeah, I, I never jumped any higher. No. I was already fast. I didn't need Make them you things. Slower. <laughs> but uh, that's what weights do. See, it slows it you down. It slows you down. <laughs> and, and the Bible says, "Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, and laying aside, every run, way. run that race with patience, <laughs> laying aside every weight that does so easily beset beset us." So, promotion cometh from the Lord and he promotes watch this he promotes faith and what promotes your faith is your righteousness oh, yeah. so God promotes faith our righteousness promotes faith well that's good right there write that down Eric God promotes faith and our righteousness promotes faith. God's righteous, we're righteous. Yeah. So we're promoting the same thing. Okay. No, I live by faith. If our faith can't get it, God, if our faith can't take us there, we won't have it, we won't go there. You won't go there. We've been all around the world. By faith. By faith. Our faith did it. Our faith did Many it. Many things we went. No but way. God promoted our faith. Absolutely. What we believed that's right. Him for, he looked at that as we are dependent on that. And our righteous new man promoted the faith. No, this is the way we live. Boy, that's good. That is good right there. I never I never saw that until now. This That's a download from heaven right there. God promotes faith. Our new man, our righteous man promotes faith. And watch this. Watch this. As a leader in the body of Christ, who do we promote? Who do, who, do, who do we put in position? Our kids that operate by faith. See? So, uh, wow, that's good stuff. <laughs> no, I'm no, I'm not trying uh, to figure out what you meant by that. By, by who what? Do we 
promote. Oh, I'm not going to promote. I'm not no. going to put somebody in position that that's uh, thinks the sky is falling. <laughs> no, you you saw when we went through uh, that so-called lockdown, our gang was just boom, faithing it right on through, right? Yeah. Well, no. I don't. I don't need Eric over there uh, not using his faith when it comes to uh, what what uh, he does on staff with media and all right. that. He has to use his faith. Absolutely. I mean, it, he's got this program. He's got the NOW program. He's got, every time we preach in here, he's got uh, recording the RVN band. He's got mixing the RVN band. He's got covering emails. He's got whatever Desnor needs him to do else. <laughs> <laughs> that takes faith. That takes faith. Well, he's got a wife, and he has four sons, and he has he has his own ministry. But that's what I'm J. saying. Air. We don't. If, if, wow, if, that's a full. If he was, if he was like, I don't know, all that. Well, he'd still be out there doing something. And I'm not wow. saying. I'm not saying if if we have members in here that are working in a secular workplace no. that they don't have any faith. I'm just saying who. Do we recognize that I don't I don't need no faithless people on staff? So God recognizes and promotes faith. Yeah. Righteousness promotes faith. Our new man says, looks at something, says, no, that's a job for faith. Not for me. Not I can do this by myself. No, it promotes faith. Faith, right. all right. We're going to, you're going to go out there and do that. Boy, that's good stuff. I'm going to preach that. <laughs> really? That, 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 you are preaching it. Yeah, but I mean, it, it was just, it's fresh on in me. And when I, when I get something like that from heaven like that, I'll take it and meditate it. And God will uh, show me even more than that. But I, I see what, I see the, what he's saying, you know, and we're talking about, the just shall live by his faith in response to his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. See? And so you and I, we said in this devotion, if our faith can't do it, we're depending we can't get it, we on our new creation who we really are, living by faith, yes. knowing that by faith we'll get it. Mm -hmm. By faith will take us there. And if uh, we don't get it and we are not taken there, it ain't God that's stopping us. No. It's us. It's but God's looking for our faith. And when he sees us going after that, when he sees us believing that, boom, here he comes. Boom. Yeah, and manifestation. Here's, here's his hand getting on, 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 on what we have seen, what he has said, mm -hmm. to bring it to pass in our lives. Sure got a whole lot, a whole lot that we're... Those of you watching, let that sink in. Yeah. You know, we, Let's go when, back and when, we, when we come into these... Uh, Recordings, these yeah. TV programs. I'm I on purpose don't read right. ahead. Know. It's spontaneous. It's some I want stuff. it that way because of what just happened. I mean that that is a that is a revelation about uh, God promotes faith and and He's righteous and we're made in His image. So what does our image do? Promotes faith. That's right. No, that's a that's a job yeah. for faith, and when we're when we're promoting faith, we're promoting we're saying, God, your word says this. I believe that, and I'm not going to try to self exalt myself. Faith is going to do it. You said it. We believe it, and we've sown for it. We have believed we have received that, and God says, now that's my that's my kid yeah. right there. Yeah. Boom, and it well pleases. Boy, we we really have. What's about to come on us? The whole body of Christ better get yeah. ready. This is 2020. 
the year of vision manifestation. And uh, why do you think we've been hit so hard? The devil, to stop the, the devil, voice yeah, of God. Yeah. The, I, I said they it. Shut the church. I said down. it preaching How in crazy. here. I'm calling this bluff. Yeah. He, he's a gambler and put everything out on the table because he ain't got nothing in his hand. They shut the church. We're in America. They shut the churches. Well, they tried. Non-essential. They tried. They tried. They they shut a whole bunch of them down. They tried. They ne the voice Not us. the voice no. never stopped. No. For, for true voices, clean That's voices, right. they never stopped. But we have to stop we do. because we're running out of time. Yeah. We're so glad you were able to join us on this tremendous Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow, we'll, we'll, we'll go further in these new creation realities. Have a blessed day. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says this, Where the word of a king is, there, there is, is power. power. Be a blessing. The Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube 24-7. So you can watch from anywhere at any time. Search for Power of Faith on YouTube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith. Subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted. If you missed the episode or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you.